everyone it's Garcia's on wheels and it's adventure time so we're actually in Point Reyes right now even though we're headed to a different park but because we are right by the Point Reyes boat is that what this is called Reno? I don't know what you call it but I've been Anyways, wanting to go to it's a ever. Point Reyes boat that's like a abandoned ship boat thingy of bobs and Reno's been wanting to come here and because we were this close, we're taking a uh, short stop. Really done a nice job of making this boat look beautiful in photos. Because mm -hmm. that's not what it looks like. Oh. Usually you see it and it's all like, um, I mean, it's a sunken ship, obviously, but it doesn't look like that. It, it looks like it's in a really pretty place, not like in the back parking lot over here. Are you like getting this parking yeah, lot? Yeah, I'm getting all of you. <laughs> like, <laughs> you think it's on some nice beach somewhere, not like down here in the middle of a swamp. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> You know where you're at, honey? I know that I've been here before only because this is my second time around. In one tenth of a mile, turn left. I think the GPS is gonna be mad at us. Yeah, we keep driving around in circles because there was this restaurant over here, but number one, it's closed, and number two is Czechoslovakian turn food. Left. We don't even know what Czechoslovakian food is. Boulevard. But it doesn't sound like something we wanna eat, so. Not right now. We're anyway. gonna continue on down the road and hopefully find something that's food. Let's hope, or we come back to the oyster bar. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oysters is also not food? No. Sorry. You know, we're excited. I know, a little bit. Note to self find food well before you get here. Yeah, because there ain't none here. Oh, well, there's, there's some stuff up there. Bay. That's How a could you have going. a name like tamales and not have no tamales? <laughs> tamales is good, Beaches right? Food marina. But that's not a There's restaurant. No food. There's no eating. Maybe oh, a cash drop food. For lease. Oh, what's down there? Nope. Um, oh, it looks like there's some stuff over here, though. Okay. Maybe. Or just a bunch of people. Maybe. Yeah, out in the beach. Not yep, too. Sure enough, a bunch of people sitting on the beach. With no I food. just want them! So, when you call, and like they're saying, you uh, it says card only. When you get here, the card machine says out of order, and then it has a little envelope, and it's like put cash in envelope. Well, what if I don't have cash because you told me to use my card? So now what am I supposed to do? Were you able to pay or no? No, I don't have $8. Do you have $8? I don't think so. Okay, well. So that means we can't go, huh? Um, I say we risk it. Because when you call, they said when you call the number, it has a recording that says no cash on weekdays. So I say the worst thing they could do is give us a ticket that we can fight. Okay. That's how I feel you about it. Take a picture of the machine, though. I would have. Oh, I should do that. Just in case. Okay. I guess they're coming up here to fish. Okay. They're very nice people. Well, I managed to make $8. Even though they said no cash. So keep that in mind that if you come to Tamales Bay, that the card machine is out of order. So 
don't know, but we managed to find it. We were gonna risk it, but I checked my wallet just in case. There goes my cash. You know, I'm not saving it for coffee or anything, right? You know, the most important thing ever. Wow. This is a popular beach. Popular. You're gonna be, be popular. popular. All right. Don't know if our vehicle's gonna fit. But it did, yep. kind of. It did, as long as someone doesn't take it out. I really don't get too far into these places. But they're okay. You know how to use that thing? No, not really. Okay, just checking. Do you know how to use your thing? Yep. Uh, I'm just checking because sometimes you don't. You can't use my joke against me. <laughs> well, the fact you. that you're still finagling your thing. I don't finagle nothing. You know what? You gotta prepare it for transport. <laughs> So we have made it to Tamales Bay. Yeah, this is Heart's Desire Beach. Heart's Desire Beach in Tamales Bay. So it's pretty nice. It's pretty happening right now. A lot of people are leaving, but it's still pretty popular because it's a nice day. It's not a million degrees where we're from, which is nice. It's a good like 70 degrees here and at home it's 108. So we'll take it. Time to hit records on the All Trails app. Okay, so we're taking Indian Nature Trail. No dogs and no bikes allowed. Just letting you know. That's trail number one. That's trail number one. I guess there's a couple that we do. And then we end yeah. up back over here again. Yeah, so we're hitting that. And then we're hitting uh, Johnstone, Johnston Trail. Okay. And then uh, I forget the third one. We'll have to let you know as we go. Okay. Jepson, that's the other one. Okay, and then we I think we end up back here though at the end, right? Yes, we end up we're on circling outside. back to here. Okay. It's just saying that the Miwok Indians uh, lived here for 3,500 years. Mm -hmm. um, and there were several small villages and each village had a population of about 20 people. So that's a very large village. That's what I got. There oh. should be some cool stuff. Um, about the Miwok Indians here on this trail. So we'll see when we get there, I guess, because we've never been on it before, but I did watch <laughs> a YouTube video about it, so. Kind of see the bay. According to this amazing sign right here, this is a coffee berry and it's a well-known laxative to the Miwok, uh, I guess they just say the Miwoks. So, so don't eat them berries. You're gonna have the poops. <laughs> Unless you wanna have the poops and have fun. Yeah, there we go. So this trail so far is really pretty. It's not a super hard trail. I think the book said easy to moderate. So should be. Should be enough to get your heart pumping, but not enough to kill you. At least uh, that's the hopes, right? We're but. going for that slow-mo. Need some chariots of fire. Bracken fern. The largest group of seedless vascular plants still found on Earth. That, maybe? Sure. For the bracken fern? I don't know what the bracken fern is. Okay. This is a really old tree, though. It's, oh, all right. I guess it came from there. Oh, it's a little broken right there. Yep, so. Found, found the bracken fern? No. <laughs> Your sound effects. And then. Oh, I found the rest. It's over here. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Yeah, it looks like it goes down into the wilderness. 
Oh, it really does, actually. There sure it goes it almost a darn near to the bay over there. I'm sure it says stay on the trail. Probably does. Staying on the trail. Yes, yes you are. No, no he's not. I don't even know what these things are, but they're super cool that they're all fuzzy like that. I know. Of course, they're not in it's focus It's like whatsoever. mossy branches or something. Okay, here, we'll, let's try again. Story, go. You gotta read the sign and then you explain it because it's hilarious. So these crazy Miwok people, they used poison oak as a tattoo. So they took the juice out of poison oak and then they pricked their skin and they put this poison oak juice mixed with ash and uh, used it to make tattoos on themselves. That's gotta be the worst freaking tattoo you ever had in your life. <laughs> like what's that reaction like? It was also used for cure for warts, ringworm, and dye for baskets. Yeah, none of that sounds like a good idea. Nope. But do not touch it. Severe skin inflammation will happen. Now you got a ball on your head. Okay. You not like the ball on my head? <laughs> You're a little close. Blouse, two blouse. There we go. That's much better. Someone doesn't like it when I wear a bun on my head. So here's my hair down. If it looks terrible. It's his fault. Jessica doing what Jessica does best. I find a bench. I sit on a bench. I fits, I sits. So we found the teepees. So that's pretty exciting. I didn't know that they had teepees, but that's cool. The teepees on the beach, honey? Oh, I found the teepees, people. It's original or not, but you can kind of see where they were going with it. Hello. Well, hello there. Woohoo! How you doing? I'm doing it. Want to come into my teepee? <laughs> it's very nice. Thank you. I made it all by myself. I bet you did. <laughs> So the beach that the teepees are on is called Indian Beach. With the Indian Nature Trail? Uh, yes. Yes. So you go through the Indian Nature Trail through, um, what's the other beach called? Uh, Hearts Desire Beach. Okay. So you start at Hearts Desire Beach, you take the Indian Nature Trail, and then you come out here at the end of the Nature Trail on Indian Beach. And that's where the teepees are. And this lovely ocean where Reno is frolicking in the ocean now. So, 
That's how we do it. We're gonna find the next part of our trail because it's like three trails combined. That's our loop that we're doing. Okay, so it looks like we have to go back through Indian Nature Trail to get to the other side of where we're going. So we have to go back to where we were. This is super pretty though. I highly recommend it. Ruining my shot. How could this be ruining? Because I want you to come through. I'm getting you walking. I know. But what I was doing was way more interesting. <laughs> You got sand in your pants, honey? No, but I got sand in my shoes. <laughs> okay. It's practically the same thing. I don't know why, but I get sand in my shoes. Well, you kind of walk like a penguin because you got one surgery foot and one non surgery foot. Well, that makes me walk like a penguin. Have you seen yourself walk barefoot? I may walk barefoot like a penguin. <laughs> Are you tired yet? We have gone like half a mile, so. No, I've gone more than that. 0.75 now. miles? Yeah. So, one thing to keep in mind is that if you are going to hike, download your trails from all trails no it's not sponsored we just use them because it shows the map because there's no service here or service is very spotty we have AT&T so that's just something to keep in mind I'm not sure about any other cell providers but I'm sure it's probably the same thing so just letting you know So we're on Johnstone, oh, excuse me, I burped over here. We're on Johnstone Trail and I think we're gonna end up on Jepson. We officially know the names now, so that's good. This trail right here, Johnstone, takes you along the beach. So that's really nice. We're actually in this like little picnic area place. There's actually some people having dinner over here. Maybe we'll join them because food is nice. <laughs> Marina, you think they'll let us join their barbecue? Uh, probably not. Oh, but I smell hot dogs. Try. I smell hot dogs. driving home there is a huge fire I have no idea where um, it is but it is burning on Sunday we had a huge thunder rainstorm even though it was like 100 degrees and the lightning so we had a bunch of lightning caused a bunch of fires and that's what this is so even though it's Tuesday there's still all these fires around us So we found a restaurant, well it's a bar and restaurant, they have outdoor seating so we're gonna give it a shot in the middle of nowhere, right next to the fire, so That's what we're doing. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Kitchen's closed. Oh well, smelt good. We'll have to try it again earlier, <laughs> another day. Next time. So, off to the next food place that we hope is open. 
Okay, so we are at Sorella Cafe in Fairfax. You got it. Fairfax. It's the only place that's open and it's Italian food and we're very excited because I got food and I'm hungry. The last thing I ate was lunch and it is now 9 something, 9.15. It's a happening place for it being uh, 9.22. So yeah, we order our food and now we're enjoying bread. You got your food, honey? <laughs> I got something. I got a feast. And then I have uh, this. All right, so there's the damage. <laughs> How was it? It was good. The rest of mine's in here, though. I did not finish my plate. That's true. <laughs> I sure tried to finish my plate. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I could get done. Now, good dough. Now it's bedtime. How many stars? Five stars, there you go. Mm -hmm. It was good. Hey everyone. As you can tell, it is now the next day. When we got back yesterday from Tamales Bay, it was like 11 something at night and we were done. So we went to bed and now we're ending the vlog and talk to you about our hiking experience at Tamales Bay. That's what we got. Mm -hmm. So how did you feel about it? I thought it was really nice. It was really cool, which was good because it's been over a hundred degrees where we're living, plus fires, which is not helping <laughs> the heat. So it, it felt nice to actually hike and not be super hot. Yeah, for sure. So it's was it 104 yesterday or something, something like that, feels. really high. And then when we got over there, it was like 75. So it was like having air conditioning outside. <laughs> it was, it was great. great. Uh, it was also really pretty. Mm -hmm. um, there was, uh, if you saw from the video, there was a couple different trails we did. The one, there's a bunch of signs. And if you like the Native American history stuff, there's a lot of that on that trail. And uh, some of that's pretty interesting. The other trails were just kind of a like a little tiny trail. Like uh, it was basically just enough for you to be able to walk. Like we couldn't even really walk side by side that much, but it was really nice. Um, lots of greenery, uh, lots of views of the bay. So it was it was really pretty. Um, so yeah, we we really liked it. I'm gonna say four stars. Four stars. That's Why what not I got. five? Um, I wish that somewhere there was an opening on the trail where we could see the whole bay oh, from yeah, up on yeah. top of the hill. Mm -hmm. So, um, there was not that opportunity, which was kind of a bummer because mm -hmm. I kept trying to get that shot in the, uh, when I'm filming it and it just wasn't there. There just was not that spot. So that was a bummer. Mm -hmm. Yes. And when you get there online, it says they take card only. Oh yeah. And... Rena went to go pay and the card machine was broken and they wanted cash. So be aware of that. <laughs> yeah, because that's a real frustration when you don't bring cash. We got lucky that Jessica had some cash and we were digging for change because mm -hmm. we didn't have $8 in dollar bills or whatever. And it's like, okay, well, you told me to pay with a card, so here I am with a card. Now you don't want a card. But there's no warning. You just get there and it doesn't work. Well... What am I supposed to do about that if I didn't have cash? Because mm -hmm. I was ready to say, well, I tried to pay and you did not give me the opportunity. So I'm just going to show up and hope I don't get a ticket. You know, I mean, what mm -hmm. am I supposed to do? So fortunately, we weren't we weren't mm -hmm. uh, we didn't have to do that. We could do it uh, the right way. Yes. Just get to the rescue with her petty cash. In there her you wallet. go. That's what we got. <laughs> yes. And. Beware that there are no restaurants <laughs> in oh, yeah. yeah in, in Vernus. Vernus. Yeah. Yes, I think it's the town that's called. I'm sure if we drove a little farther, we might have been able to see that's some restaurants. Advisor, but though, right? there was there was nothing really, and of the few that we did see closed really early. I'm sure because of COVID hours and outdoor seating and all that. And it was a weekday. Yes, and all the lovely policies that we have to have. So be aware of that. We got lucky that on our way home that there just happened to be a restaurant that was open. So we had dinner at like 9.45 last night. We actually had no idea what the food was until we got the menu. <laughs> yep. 
It was Italian. I was happy. It you was good. Fun, yeah. It was good. I'm still yeah. regretting it, but it was yes. good. You can't put um, a pile of bread in front of Reno and not mm-hmm. have them eat bread. half the loaf. So yeah, that was our hiking experience for Tamales Bay State Park. If you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe and check out some other ones. And we will see you on the next one. Bye. Peace out.